How's everybody doing? So just a quick video here as to how to do a VIN relearn on your radio if it's got a theft lock. Um, so this radio that I acquired did not come uh, like this. This is the original radio um, on my 06 VET. So I wanted a little upgrade on it. And when I installed it, it said theft lock. Um, and I did some research. The dealer wanted almost $200 to uh, do a VIN relearn. So I'm here to show you a cheaper alternative way by getting this. It's a VCX Nano. I bought this off eBay used. Uh, it did come with the software on a USB drive that the seller provided. Um, worked out really good. Uh, paid a little less than $100 for it. And you can do a lot more other things in GM vehicles up to 2013, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so yeah, I'll show you real quick how to get into uh, the software. So this is Tech 2 Win. It's going to ask you where you're at. We're in North America. Click on OK. Yes, I'm hooked up to my car. Now this is an emulator that's exactly what a Tech 2 would would be if you had a handheld version of it. So anywho, we'll go to Diagnostics. Like I said, up to 13, it looks like. Um, I have an 06. It is a passenger car. Uh, it's a Chevrolet. And this product line is the fourth digit on your VIN. So mine's is Y like Yankee. Scroll down to Y. Okay, so then now that theft lock is in the body control module. You have to go to body. Scroll down until you see navigation systems. Okay. Then you do um, module setup. Go on their navigation radio. Then relearn. Gonna ask you if you want to do it. And you begin clearing it. It's that simple. Um, like I said, you can do all other th all other things that a Tech 2 can do. So if you hear that your car needs a Tech 2 to, to purge out a solenoid or um, bleed the brakes on some GM vehicles, uh, this is a perfect little tool. Um, the blue one is for GM and Opel, if I'm not mistaken. There are different colored ones, so don't get them mixed up. So, hope you enjoy the video.